Okay, now since we have talked a little bit about the selection tool in using it with a barometer, I'm going to go back and show you again, probably with a barometer, some of the other selection tool options because not everything that you want to select out is going to be round. So, let's take a look. I'm going to open barometer and we're going to play around with that one again. Now we saw how effective, because I wanted that barometer, which was pretty much round, we saw how effective it was to use the elliptical tool, which is great. So I could select that and I could bingo. So now let's take a look at some of the others. Over here on the toolbox, we've got a lot of selection options. So there's the rectangle one. So if you want to select something that's more rectangular, you can go with that. So if you want to get a box or a road sign of some kind or another sign, that sort of thing from a picture you've taken, you could use that to select and you end up with whatever rectangle you want to end up with. And so you can draw a second one, that sort of thing. And so basically it lets you choose things square, rectangle, that sort of thing, rectilinear. Okay, so let's go to the more complicated ones. These are ones that I've used fairly often, but you've got to have a bit more patience with. This one's the free select tool and one of the most powerful. And so let's say that I want to keep a couple of the bricks in here because I'm crazy. And so when I, whenever I left click, it makes a little point and it draws a straight line between those points. So I made another point there, made a point here. I'm gonna take a point over here and draw it down to here and kind of an angled one. I could follow around the circle by putting a bunch of points pretty close together, but I'm mostly just showing you what you can do with this guy. So I'm gonna come down to here. Let's go ahead and cut straight across the barometer there. In fact, I'll angle up some, because again, wherever I put these points, it just does a straight line to them. And so finally, I can connect these two here or whenever I hit enter, I'm going to go ahead and select that there. So when you, when you close the image, basically you click back on your first point, it knows to complete the select. If you hit enter whenever you're making these points, it'll basically just connect the last point you've made to the very first one that you made and make its selection on that. So I can delete. And so you can basically carve out whatever you want from a picture. That can be really good if you want to, say, get an image of just your head by itself. You want to put your head in on a scientist's body or something like that. And so you want to get your hair to make it look natural. You can go in and use this select tool to kind of catch around your hair to try and get it pretty good where it doesn't look like your hair is just cut off. And so that one's a really powerful tool, but it also requires a lot of patience because most likely you're going to be using it on something that's kind of hard to grab. Uh, there's the fuzzy select tool, which is very popular. And so it will select anything in a given area that's pretty much the same color. So it's kind of hard to see there because the barometer actually changes color. But let's see if I click here on the brick. Ah, all of this space here, so I'll hit enter. All of that is area that is the same color or roughly the same color and is touching each other. So it's deleting this, all of this area here, but it didn't delete the same color, say, over here on this brick. I'd have to select that individually. So I'm going to undo those. That one can be really powerful if you've got something that's complicated, say, like hair or whatever, but it's mostly one color. You can select that, and there's a good chance that it's going to catch most of what you want. So that can be really useful, but it's kind of a situational tool. And then another great one is select by color. Basically, that chooses the color no matter where it is on the map. So that specific shade of red right there that I selected, it's found it anywhere on the image, and it's selected all of that. So if I hit delete, I get rid of basically that color no matter where it is in this image. And so those are your basic select tools. They're all pretty good, and they can be used to varying degrees depending on what you're playing with. The select by color and the fuzzy select tool can be pretty quick ways to grab stuff. Uh, the free select tool gives you a lot more power and control, but takes a lot of patience usually. And then if you've got simple shapes that you're going for, the ellipse and the rectangle should work pretty well. So those are the selection tools, and hopefully you'll make good use out of them.